LMX theory, or the leader-member exchange theory, conceptualizes leadership as a process that is centered on the interactions between leaders and followers. Before LMX theory, researchers treated leadership as something leaders did toward all of their followers. In the first studies of exchange theory, which was then called vertical dyad linkage or VDL theory, researchers focused on the nature of the vertical linkages between leaders formed with each of their followers. In assessing the characteristics of these vertical dyads, researchers found two general types of linkages or relationships. Within a group or organizational work unit, followers became part of the in-group or the out-group based on how well they worked with the leader and how well the leader worked with them. Followers in the in-group receive more information, influence, confidence, and concern from their leaders than do out-group followers. After the first set of studies, there was a shift in focus of the LMX theory. Specifically, studies started to focus on how the quality of the leader-member exchanges was related to positive outcomes for leaders, followers, groups, and the organization in general. For purposes of research, they highlighted the importance of measuring leader-member exchange from the perspective of both the leader and the follower. Most recently, researchers are investigating the procedural nature of the leader-member exchange and how work relationships are co-constructed through communication. The quality of the leader-member exchange mattered most for employees who felt little empowerment. For these employees, high-quality leader-member exchange appeared to co compensate for the drawbacks of not being empowered. When leaders and followers have good exchanges, they feel better and accomplish more, and the organization prospers. Leadership making emphasizes that leaders should develop high-quality exchanges with all of their followers rather than just a few. In attempts to make every follower feel as part of the in-group and in so doing avoids the inequities and negative implications of being part of an out-group. In general, leadership making promotes partnerships in which the leader tries to build effective dyads with all followers in the work unit. In addition, leadership making suggests that leaders can create networks of partnerships throughout the organization, which will benefit the organization's goals and the leader's own career progress. Research suggests that leadership making develops progressively over time in three phases the stranger phase, the acquaintance phase, and the mature partnership phase. Phase two, the acquaintance phase, begins with an offer by the leader or the follower for improved career-oriented social exchanges, which involve sharing more resources and personal or work-related information. Phase three, the mature partnership is marked by high-quality leader-member exchanges. In a study of leader-member relationship development, researchers found that leaders look for followers who exhibit enthusiasm, participation, gregoriousness, and extroversion. In addition, during phase three, members may depend on each other for favors and special assistance. The benefits for employees who develop high-quality leader-member relationships include preferential treatment, increased job-related communication, ample access to supervisors, and increased performance-related feedback. To evaluate leader-member exchanges, researchers typically use a brief questionnaire that asks leaders and followers to report on the effectiveness of their working relationships. The questionnaire assesses the degree to which respondents express respect, trust, and obligation in their exchanges with others. The LMX theory works in two ways. It describes leadership and it prescribes leadership. In both instances, the central concept is the dyadic relationship that leaders form with each of their followers. Descriptively, LMX theory suggests that it's important to recognize the existence of in-groups and out-groups within an organization or a group. The differences in how goals are accomplished by in-groups and out-groups can be substantial. 
out-group members act quite differently than in-group members. Rather than trying to do extra work, out-group members operate strictly within their prescribed organizational roles. Prescriptively, LMX theory is best understood within the leadership-making model. When these relationships are of high quality, the goals of the leader, the followers, and the organization are all advanced. LMX theory makes several positive contributions to our understanding of the leadership process. First, it is a strong descriptive theory. Intuitively, it makes sense to describe work units in terms of those who contribute more and those who contribute less or the bare minimum to the organization. Second, LMX theory is unique in that it's the only leadership approach that makes the concept of the dyadic relationship the centerpiece of leadership process. Third, LMX theory is noteworthy because it directs our attention to the importance of communication and leadership. The principles outlined in LMX theory serve as a good reminder for leaders to be fair and equal in how they approach each of their followers. Finally, a large body of research substantiates how the practice of LMX theory is related to positive organizational outcomes. By linking the use of LMX theory to real outcomes, researchers have been able to validate the theory and increase its practical value. Although path goal theory has various strengths, it also has several identifiable weaknesses. First, path goal theory is so complex and incorporates so many different aspects of leadership that interpreting the theory can be confusing. A second limitation of path goal theory is that it's received only partial support from many of the empirical research studies that have been conducted to test its validity. A third and more recent criticism is that the theory does not account for gender differences in how leadership is enacted or perceived. Research has been done on the impact of gender directive, supportive, and participative leadership, but has not been integrated into the path goal theory. Another criticism of path goal theory is that it fails to explain adequately the relationship between leadership behavior and follower motivation. A final criticism is that the theory concerns a practical outcome of the theory itself. Path goal theory places a great deal of responsibility on leaders and much less on followers. The LMX theory offers many insights that leaders can use to improve their own leadership behavior. Foremost, LMX theory directs leaders to assess their leadership from a relationship perspective. This assessment will sensitize leaders to how in-groups and out-groups develop within their own organization. The ideas set forth in LMX theory can be used by leaders at all levels. On a lower level, LMX theory could be used to explain how line managers in a manufacturing plant use a select few workers to accomplish production quotas of their work unit. In addition, the ideas of LMX theory can be used to explain how individuals create leadership networks throughout an organization and help them accomplish work more effectively. LMX theory can also be applied in different types of organizations. It applies in volunteer settings as well as traditional businesses, education, and government settings. In summary, LMX theory tells leaders to be aware of how they relate to their followers. LMX theory tells leaders how to be respectful and how to build trusting relationships with all of their followers. LMX theory addresses leadership as a process centered on the interactions between leaders and followers. It makes the leader-member relationship the pivotal concept in the leadership process. In the early studies of LMX theory, a leader's relationship to the overall work unit was viewed as a series of vertical dyads categorized as being two different types, the leader's in-group and the leader's out-group. Subsequent studies of the LMX theory were directed towards how leader-member exchanges affect organizational performance. Researchers found that high-quality exchanges between leaders and followers produced multiple positive outcomes. 
a second body of LMX research focus on leadership making, which emphasizes leaders trying to develop high-quality exchanges with all of their followers. Strengths of the approach include its descriptive nature, the leader-member relationships being a focal point, importance of effective communication, and the theory is well supported by research. There are some negatives or criticisms, including its counter to fairness and perceived inequities, it fails to explain how to create the exchanges, and contextual factors that influence relationships are not considered. There are also questions about whether the measurement procedures used in LMX research are adequate to fully capture the complexities of the leader-member exchange process.